Sand can be found almost everywhere. It can be found on the ground, in beaches, rivers, and deserts. Not to mention the things people encounter on almost a daily basis, like glass as well as buildings and infrastructure, from which the creation of one needs sand. Being the second most consumed raw material on the planet after water, it is undeniable that sand is important to the lives of people. However, the thing that can be found almost everywhere is starting to run out. Yes, the world is facing a shortage in sand supply. How exactly? The answers are fascinating. Sand is mostly used for building infrastructures, as well as in the creation of glass that is used in manufacturing items like windows and screens. It is even used in the production of technological advancements like silicon chips. This makes sand an important raw material that helps in building the society. Global urbanization became one of the main factors for the shortage, as the number of residents in urban areas has quadrupled since 1950. It has reached a current number of 4.2 billion, which is predicted by the United Nations to increase by 2.5 billion more in the next three decades. The world's use of sand has tripled within the last two decades, at around 40 to 50 billion tons of sand consumed yearly. Climate scientists now describe the situation of sand shortage as one of the greatest sustainability challenges of the 21st century. The sand shortage problem arises from the type of sand that is needed by the world. The sand that is commonly used for building and construction is more angular because this type allows it to bind more and form stable concrete. Angular sand is created by the erosion of water and can be found on beaches, riverbanks, lakes, coastlines, and on the seabed. The sand found in deserts, on the other hand, is eroded by the wind, making it more rounded. The round type of sand cannot be used for this purpose because it is a lot smoother and won't bind as much as the angular type to form concrete. Sand can be replenished naturally through the weathering of rocks by erosion agents like wind and water. However, the global use of sand due to urbanization occurs at a far greater rate, exceeding the natural rate in which sand is being replenished. This shortage even leads to environmental consequences because of extraction processes being done to acquire the sand needed. Extraction occurs in riverbanks as well as in seabeds and has disastrous effects on the ecosystems. Ocean dredging is performed to acquire sand from the seabed and causes damage to coral reefs, destroys marine habitats, and clouds the water with sand plumes all of which affects marine habitats and aquatic organisms from the area of dredging. These areas are being stripped bare to harvest sand. Even criminal gangs have entered the sand trade because of the demand. Other consequences include damage to infrastructure when performing sand extraction activities like sand mining. A bridge in Taiwan collapsed and another in Portugal not long after. Both events resulted from sand mining, which weakened the foundation of the bridges, causing them to collapse. The shortage of sand is a wake-up call for the world to recognize its impact. The Global Sand Observatory is launched by the UNEP grid to develop information on sand resource governance to help address these concerns. In many Western countries, river sand mining has already been largely phased out there are companies in different countries working on how to consume less sand for their projects, as well as to develop alternatives that could come from leftover materials like shredded plastic and crushed rice hulls. Being aware of the shortage of sand supply is one thing that could help prevent drastic impacts in the future.